Hey guys, good morning. It is uh, Thursday, March 6th, 2014. Um, welcome to March, guys. It seems that um, this year is just flying by. And it always, as everybody knows, the older that you get, it seems to do that. So um, I hope you guys have had a great 2014 so far and welcome to March. It's supposed to be warmer. I don't know if it is. Well, I know it's not, but hopefully soon um, that's all going to change and we can start wearing shorts and um, all of that good jazz. So uh, welcome and I hope that you guys are having an amazing week. It's almost Friday and for the weekend and that's a good thing. And so anyway, like I said, welcome. Um, this video is going to be kind of quick, guys, and uh, really what I want to talk to you about is I, I want to set up kind of where we're going and the whole purpose of, of Scandalous Grace. Um, and really, I am, ever since I learned uh, who I was, there has been that longing to do the things that Jesus has called us to do. And so that's really what uh, this is going to be setting up for. And today I'm going to kind of be preaching more to myself than, than anybody else. And so just know that. But what I mean by who I was and the things that we're going to be doing. See, here's the deal is we don't just get saved to go to heaven, right? We get saved so that we can further the kingdom of God. Yes, we get saved so that we can have relationship with the Father, but He doesn't want us just to, to stay in that relationship by ourselves. One of, the, one of the things that Jesus said, one of the last things that Jesus said is He said to go and make disciples of all nations. We know that. But there's a couple other things that He said as well. Um, in Mark, He tells us to uh, heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, to do those things. And that is kind of the things that I, I want to talk to you about. God is a supernatural God. And believe it or not, those things are still for us today. Um, and it's not for us. It's not to bring us glory. It's not to do anything. But it is to bring our Father in Heaven glory through the one true name that does everything. And that's Jesus Christ. Um, and so kind of the point I want to make today um, twofold. One is it's not just about the the preacher out doing it. It's not about the preacher speaking on Sundays and us listening to a message. The same Holy Spirit that dwells in your preacher and dwells in the evangelist out in the street and dwells with the people healing um, and dwells with the people that are are doing the signs and wonders um, lies in you. You understand that the same Holy Spirit that teaches them can teach you. And before any of that is ever even possible, what we have to do is, and this is where I start preaching to myself, is where we have to get plugged in, guys. We have to get plugged into the Bible. We have to get plugged into um, the Holy Spirit. We have to get plugged into the things that he's telling us, and we can't divert from that. And I'm going to be honest. I hope you know that I, there are times where I will go a week, two weeks, three weeks where I'm plugged in. Everything is good. We're going. It's me and Jesus. We're having alone time and things are well. And then slowly but surely life starts to happen. And just that unplugging from the Holy Spirit, that unplugging from the Bible, that unplugging from the things that he wants us to do starts to happen. The... God, I'm kind of busy this morning. I'll get back at you later tonight. And then later tonight comes and it turns into, man, God, I'm tired. So I'll hit you up tomorrow morning. And then it's, oh, God, I, I woke up late for my workout. I got to go. I'll, whenever I get back, I'll, right? We start setting appointments with God. And that's, that's not what he wants. And don't think he's mad at you. He's not. He's sitting there just saying, okay, well, I'll get you. There are going to be times where I'm just going to interrupt your life and I'm going to get your attention and we're going to talk, but I don't want to do that. I want you to seek after me and I want you to come to me because there's work that I have for you to do, not work to do to earn our salvation, but work to do to, to spread my, my message, uh, work for you to do to, to show the power of me to, to people and work for you to do so that whenever you get to heaven, it's not just you standing there, but you brought some folks with you. 
And so that's the work. But before we can do any of that, guys, I, it, it's about plugging in. And so just a couple of scriptures that Jesus has laid or that, that I've seen, um, aside from one of the reasons I didn't know that I could, we could do the things in Jesus' name is because I never took the time to ask God if that was really true. I never took the time to say, okay, you know, you say this, is it true? And then walk in faith and go do that. But it wasn't until I started seeking after it and asking him that he started showing me that, yes, these are the things to do. But so this is what it's setting up, guys. Um, I'm going to give you a couple scriptures about how Jesus plugged into God. And yeah, so Mark 135, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Matthew 14, 23. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. Luke 6, 12. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray, and he spent the night praying to God. Jesus loved being around people. He loved being around sinners. He loved um, showing his father's glory. He loved to do that. But another part of Jesus, and again, whenever Jesus came, he came to show us the way that we are to live life because that's the way that God desired us to live in the first place. He came and he showed Jesus, the son of God, God himself in flesh, in, in human flesh, he took time to go spend time with God alone. And guys, I'm all about being with people. I'm all about being with our church family. I'm all about being with, with others. But if we're not getting alone and spending time with the Holy Spirit and spending time with God, then the things that he's called us to do, we won't do because everything else is going to be just blazing in our ear. The reason that he got alone with just him and God is so that he could hear just God. Did you know that whenever you say, Holy Spirit, I'm here for you to talk to me, he does? And that's your gift. And he wants you to use it. And he wants you to go. In the days to come, guys, miracles are going to happen. Um, prophecy is going to happen. God is going to use his people to spread his message um, in definitely in the days to come. And there's definitely going to be a more of his outpouring on the nations. We're starting to see some crazy things right now. And he wants to use us to show the world that his kingdom is true. But before we can do those things and before we can do all of that, we have to get plugged back in. So guys, um, I'm urging you. Today, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with myself first, um, get alone with God. Even if it's for five minutes, guys, get alone with God. Start asking God the things that he wants to show you. Start asking him um, the stuff that Michael's talking about, God, that's kind of crazy. I need you to show it to me, and he will. But all of this is being set up in preparation for us to become the supernatural army of God that he wants us to be. Because whenever, because Paul said, I don't just come in word, but I'll come in power. And that power is the Holy Spirit. And in John, here's the deal, and I'm going to leave you with this, just preparing for everything. Uh, John 14, 12, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I, that, sorry, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these, he will do because I go to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That's the key to be glorified. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Jesus did some amazing things, guys, but it's not going to happen until we get alone with him and we start asking him how. And so... That's where we go from here, is setting up how we, how, how we become that supernatural army of God. You guys are amazing. Again, if you guys need prayer for anything, 
then please know you can email me, scandalousgrace777 at gmail.com, and I will start praying for you. I will have friends pray for you. And most importantly, uh, we'll get it taken care of. And yeah, so please don't hesitate to do that. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Uh, I'll be back next week, and we're going to start talking about exactly what the works of of God were and the things that He did. And we're going to go back into we're going to go into details of that, and we're going to talk. We're going to kind of revisit some of the miracles that that Jesus did. So until then, you guys be blessed. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.